Welcome to Lock Picking Legend. Yes, you. Oh, that was really with gusto. Yes, you are watching Lock Picking Legend. And before we start, I want to say a very special hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. Much appreciated. But I also want to say an equally special hello to the returning subscribers because without you, we'd have nothing. You're nothing, son. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't been sleeping for the last 50 years. No. Um, okay, as promised, we're going to have a little bit of a deep dive into the locks for vans. Uh, I will be using the leashy style dimple pick, but it's more about the pin stacks in these locks. So without further ado, let's crack into these. Oh, oh one more thing. If you are subscribed, I know, I'm sorry if this is a bit dull if you know it, but if you don't click the little bell, YouTube won't always notify you of my videos. It's a weird way of YouTube not <laughs> promoting stuff they don't like. So let's get one up on them and just ring that little bell next to the subscribe thing. All right, anyway, now without further ado, let's get on to the locks. So on the left you've got your old Locks for Vans T-Series Slam Lock and on the right you've got the newer version which you can identify because it's got the Locks for Vans logo on it and it's also got like a, a shutter that, that sort of just protects the lock from dust and grit and whatever and when you put the key in half of it goes up half of it goes down. Yeah I'll give you a, a little closer up look at that it's, it's quite hard to see. There you go you can just about make out those little kind of, I don't know, covers, shutters. I don't want to say curtain because it makes me think of curtain locks, which these most certainly aren't. But um, that's how you identify it. You've got the uh, the logo, the Locks of Vans logo, and the uh, cover thing. But it's when you see me chop one in half and swap the pin stacks around, you'll see why there's a difference in these two locks. So here you go, on the second lock I'm going to show you, the second cross section, that's your six pin stacks. <laughs> Look at them. They're, they're kind of vile. But I just wanted you to have a good look at them. I'll give you a closer up of those, hang on. I mean, there's some unpleasant pins that, you know, single pin picking these locks with traditional picks is a nightmare. And I won't lie, picking them with the leashy style dimple pick isn't easy. You've got to practice, but once you practice, once you've learned what to feel for, once you've got your set bounce in order, and you know, just once you've got used to the pick, you'll have these locks open in a minute, minute 20, every time. But that's an unpleasant series of pin stacks. I think we can agree on that much. Let's get on to the locks. Okay, so this is the older of the two uh, Locks for Vans T-Series Slam Locks, and I've just cut it in half, so you can actually see what's going on in there. Now, let's uh, just crack on and get on to the information. Um, you will get these pins, yeah, I'll point them out. These are the older style pins. I'm finding these, it, in the older slam locks, the one that hasn't got the weird shutter in front of the keyway. But you you probably will get them in other ones occasionally. So I've got me leashy style dimple pick in there you can see. And you, you've got to remember there's six of these pin stacks in one of these locks, so I'm only picking one here. So as is usual with these leashy style picks, you're going to be going back through those six, back through, I mean, you know, A, I can see it, B, there's only one of them. But you've got to be really careful with these because that is a very small key pin and it's easily overset. I'll, I'll do it for you now. I mean, I've got, I'm in the spool there, but trying to deal with that this is what happens there you go you over you overdo it because of the size of that key pin you've overset it but it's easily dealt with when you can see it 
But, you know, the picks do the job. Legendary. So here's the newer Locks of Van Slam Lock. And you can see that nice shiny brass driver pin in there. So uh, let's have a look at this one. You can already see that, I mean, look at it. It's like a, a tapered, then a spool, then a... The, <laughs> it's like a double step spool pin, I guess you could call it. So you've got like a thin part at the top then a wider bit, then a spool, then a wider, and then a narrow. And these are the ones that are going to give you multiple clicks. And, you've, and every pin chamber, all six, will have these pins in them. So we've overcome, we've overcome the spool part there, and we just gently lift that up, and then we've got another click there, and just a little nudge, and there you go. And now you can see that uh, driver pin in its full glory. So there you go, look. You've got like the, the, the narrow bit, then a step, the spool bit in the middle, another step there. And you can get three to four clicks from one of them. And what you've got to look out for when you're picking these is... With the leashy style dimple pick, when you get a click, that's not that lot. That's not that pin set. You might have set a bit of it, so to speak. I know that sounds ridiculous, but if you get a click, maybe move on, try some more. Just keep doing passes. I call them passes. Go through the lock. Just keep going. A click doesn't mean a set. On this one, you you could in theory get four to five clicks, and that might not be set you know you might picking another pin might cause this to drop down one so you know i mean this is sort of maths logic in theory you could get 100 clicks and it not be picked because every time you pick another pick and you messed around with your tension one of them might drop down a bit so just keep doing those passes relax don't you know frustration is the enemy of lock picking just understand that you're dealing with a, a pretty brutal uh, a high security pin there and just gently keep going back, you know, okay, got a click there. Have I got my set bounce? Yeah, okay, that's all right. That one's safe. Oh, I've lost my set bounce. Well, I must have lost that while picking another pin stack, etc., etc., and you'll get it in the end. So there you go. That's the newer version. Decent locks. They're, they are decent locks. Problem is, they're decent picks. I hope you enjoyed another cross-section video. Give the video a thumbs up, will you? If you're not subscribed, like 60% of the people who watched the last video weren't, give us a subscription, because more subscriptions, more videos. Ta-da! Enjoy your L4V picking. <laughs>